This video is testimony given by Donald Johnson at the third Consensus Development Conference on Electroconvulsive Therapy, June 10 through 12, 1985, at the Maser Auditorium Clinical Center, National Institute of Mental Health, Washington, D.C. end up actually being applied to the neurons of the brain uh, as compared to the if, surface if of a wonderful If you look at the joules that are entered the central nervous system, there's probably two or three joules over billions and billions and billions of neurons. And when you divide that out and look at the amount of joules, you get a very low level of stimulation. I would like to say I gave this panel information on thymatron electroconvulsive devices that maxes out at over 200 joules, that's over 148 foot-pounds. It means that the total maximum possible energy delivered to the skin, head, and brain would lift a pound weight 148 feet in the air. Now, how much of that goes through the neuron is a different question. Dr. Weiner, do you know how many one watts would be in a, in a light bulb? Can you? Uh... <laughs> well, if you, had a, if you had a 100 watt bulb, it would barely flicker at all, probably not at all. I, the data that I gave to them this morning, it comes out in a half a second, it's 360 watts.